टर्न फिनाले amount of 50 lakhs in it keep it with you and take care of yourself and the child inside you but but how can i take it both your sons have a right over it they are very greedy for the sake of some money see what those bastards have done to me keep this bag and run away from here as soon as possible otherwise they won't leave you either but babu ji you are the maid of this house even if you vanish some day then also nobody will care about it that is why i am saying if not for yourself go for the sake of this child inside you but babu ji you go from here and don't show your face ever get out go go from here <coughs> seema had no choice but to run away She ran out on that dark night with that bag towards outside and ran until that villa disappeared from her sight. Prerna got up to open the door and move towards the door. As soon as she opened the door, she saw Prabhu, very frightened, tense and wet due to heavy rainfall outside. Does it take so long to open the door? Now don't stand in front of me. What happened Prabhu? You don't look fine. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Are you okay? Hmm? Tell me what happened? You don't need to interfere in everything. I said I'm fine. Now go and sleep. If you don't want to share, it's fine. At least don't be so rude. Prerna left from there without an answer. But Prabhu was in some easiness and was filling every empty corner of the house with his presence. Panicked Prabhu went to the bathroom. After which Prerna looked at his phone. After reading that message, Prerna was in shock. It was like she skipped her heartbeats. As soon as Prabhu came to her, she started shouting at him. She started asking questions from Prabhu continuously. They started arguing with each other. Being troubled by the questions coming one after the other, Prabhu confessed his crime in front of Prerna. After knowing her husband committed a murder, Seema was stunned. That night she decided to live alone rather than living with a murderer and that was the last time Prabhu saw his wife and daughter <laughs>
the condition of Prabhu, Vinod and Rishi had worsened now. Every detail of that long ago incident flashbacked in front of them. Nobody could understand what to do. Just then, Prerna standing beside them made a movement. Sima, take these people to their real destination. After so many years, today you have got the chance to take avenge for the death of you and your unborn child. Huh? Unborn child? Yes! Unborn child! On the day all three of you mercilessly killed me, you took not one, but two lives. Today I will avenge all those deaths on all of you. Seeing their death in front of them, Vinod and Rishi were trembling with fear. As soon as they got the opportunity, both of them tried to run out and they ran out of the door hurriedly. <laughs> Did they think they would escape from me? Huh? <sighs> Prabhu also didn't understand anything. So he also did what his friends did. He also ran out of the door. All three started running away from home in the same car. In the midst of heavy rain, lightning and storm, the three were trying every means to save themselves. Then suddenly, Seema came in front of Rishi, who was driving the car. <laughs> Rishi, take you turn fast. Otherwise, she will kill us right here. Panicked and scared Prabhu took a U-turn. That's when the weather started getting worse. The roads started getting worse. It was becoming difficult to drive the car. After which, all three find it better to get out of the car. Leaving the car there, they all started running. <laughs> <laughs> then after going a little distance, everyone saw that the road was blocked. Now there was no way for anyone to get out of there. After which, Vinod noticed something. Rishi, Prabhu, look at this place properly, guys. Th this is the same place where we buried Seema. <laughs> you recognize very quickly. I thought it would take more time. <laughs> Seema was still very angry with the injustice that happened to her. She just can't get over it of what happened with her and just wanted to take revenge from her killers. Seema asked them to dig their own grave. All three were trembling with fear and had no option left. In no time, the grave was ready. Seema asked all three of them to get into it. Seema just wanted to avenge for the injustice happened with her from three of them who were begging for their life. The pit was very deep due to which water was filling in it. All three were unable to get out of it. Even after trying hard, the water had gone over everyone's nose. All three died due to suffocation within a few minutes. Seema had taken her revenge, after which her soul could now leave this mean world with peace. To pick up Priya, her mother came there by car. Seema got her justice and the culprits got their punishment. We hope that you have liked the last part of our story. If you have any suggestions related to this, or have any new idea for a new story, then definitely tell us in the comment box. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel.
and press the bell icon for timely notifications.